Hey guys, I picked up these uh, social media icons and I wanted to play with the Illustrator 3D and materials. It turned out to be something very nice. So I created a video out of this. So basically from this video, you will learn how to create realistic 3D logos inside the Adobe Illustrator. As you see, Illustrator 3D and material tool gives you very realistic 3D effects. I'm sure you will learn something very useful tips and tricks on how to make 3D objects inside Adobe Illustrator. I will explain the first one step by step and the remaining ones I'm sure you will be able to understand from the speed up process. Let's begin. I have got this icon from the internet. So basically I have this square and the logo separated. So what we need to do is to create one more of this with the logo carved out. So to do that, let's copy this and duplicate it and select both of them and go to window pathfinder. This will open up this window. Now click this. This will minus the logo from the square. You see? Now let's do the 3D part. Now select the base square and go to window 3D and materials. This will open up this window. Click extrude. Now give the depth as 150 points and uh, click the rotation as an isometric top. Now change the color to blue. Now select this shape. Same thing, extrude and give it as 50 points. And select isometric top. Now let's align this on top of each other. Okay. Now same thing for the logo. Click extrude. Now select here, arrange, bring to front. Now you can actually rotate it just to give it a feel like as if it is going to be fitting in. Now keep the extrusion depth as 40 point. Actually let's make the previous one also as a 40 point. Now select this and click bevel and from the drop down menu select the round as a bevel shape. Now adjust the width and the height. Click here, bevel on both sides if you want to keep it. Now go to materials. There are a lot of materials, but let's stick to the default material itself. Now adjust the properties, roughness and metallicness. Let's keep it as these values. Now select the lighting, play with the intensity and the intensity of the ambient lights. Now do the same thing for the base square as well. Click bevel, select the round shape, adjust the width and the height. Now bevel on both edges. Go to materials, play with roughness and metallic values. Now go to lighting, play with intensity and play with the rotation of the light and height of the light source and adjust the metallicness a little bit. Now let's do the same for the logo. Click bevel, select the round shape, adjust the width and the height, go to material tab, play with the roughness and the metallic values. Now go to the lighting tab, play with the intensity, ambient light intensity. Now let's add some shadows, create an oval shape, Let's bring the logo onto the top. Now add a black gradient to the shape. And go to effect and blur, Gaussian blur. Now go to window and click transparency. This will bring up this tab. Now from here you select the hard light and change the opacity value. Now select the base shape go to the lighting and click shadows. Play with the rotation and height. I think this is good. Now let's tweak this logo light intensity a little bit. I think this is good. Now let's add some background color. So draw a rectangle and arrange send to back. Make it a blue color. That's it.
That's it for now. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would give me motivation to do more videos. And if you specifically want to know any trick, kindly do let me know in the comments below. I will try my best to make a video. Thanks for watching.